Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a Bath and Body Works empties. This is for the month of October. Um, I actually did, was able to get through quite a bit of stuff, so I'm pretty happy with the progress I have been making, so I am just going to jump right in. So first up, I did use up, this is a Eucalyptus Springs candle. I know that this is like totally seasonally inappropriate. I just really wanted to finish it. Honestly, I could probably light it once more, but I'm really kind of over the scent. Um, yeah, it is a good clean burn though, a really nice fresh scent. I would definitely consider repurchasing, especially for like the springtime. I also really like the packaging. There's really no problem with the scent though. Um, I didn't have any like puny wicks or anything like that. Yeah, overall, really, really nice, and I would definitely repurchase. You know, it's kind of bothering me that it's not totally used. I might actually light it um, tonight. We'll see. Next up, I do have another candle. This is in Sweet Mint Julep. This one was okay. Um, I probably wouldn't get it again. There's nothing wrong with it. It's an interesting scent. Um, it's just not my favorite. It did have like a, you know, like a medium throw, a good clean burn, no puny wicks. I didn't have any issues with this. It's just really not, I, I definitely got sick of it at about the halfway mark. So for me, I think it's like a one and done. But overall, I am glad that I did try it. Um, and then the last candle I have, this is in Aromatherapy Vanilla and Patchouli. I absolutely love this scent. I'm sad to see this go. This scent was my like nighttime, like bedroom scent um, that I would like before going to bed just to like wind down and relax. This is like a really comforting really cozy scent especially when it's like cold or you want like a cup of tea or something like that so i would 100 percent recommend this and i absolutely would repurchase it again okay i am i'm just going in random orders as always i also finished up this is the travel size in warm vanilla sugar this is the shower gel i enjoy the scent in a shower gel i don't think i would get it in a lotion and i definitely wouldn't get it in a body spray just because i do prefer other vanilla scents but it is nice in a shower gel and it's not nearly as sweet as most of Bath & Body Works vanilla scents. So yes, I would repurchase it. I also have a little hand cream. This is in the scent Pomelo. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry, Pomelo. This is really old. Um, I want to say at least a couple years old. Yes, do cut open your products, you guys. So many other YouTubers have taught me that. This scent was okay. I thought like Pomelo would smell more like citrusy and grapefruity. Um, and honestly, it was kind of like just a generic fresh scent. So I don't think I would repurchase it, even if I could find it again. But I do really like this shade of pink that they used. And I also really enjoy Bath & Body Works hand cream formula. Okay, next up, I did use, this is the Coffee Bean Body Scrub. This is also from a couple years old. I absolutely love this scrub though. I wish and I hope that they would bring it out again. It's a really like nice um thick abrasive scrub i really really enjoyed it i would definitely repurchase it if they did decide to bring it back out and it's like a really wake you up um type of smell because it smells exactly like coffee so yes love that um hand soap i used this is the gentle and clean wild lavender mint um packaging really nice although i don't really like that i can't see through the bottle because i can't really see my progress this was in my bathroom this is a nice scent like a fresh you know lavender blend I, I i would repurchase it nothing like really special but also you know nothing nothing bad to say about it either the other soap i used up well me and my roommates this was in the kitchen this is um champagne toast i don't really like the gentle gel formula i will buy it sometimes just to mix it up from like just using up the foaming since that's basically the only other kind of soap that they make now i do enjoy champagne toast i do need a break from it though it's like i'll use it and i will enjoy it and then i'm just like i'm done with it for a bit it's like a fruity bubbly scent um yeah so i liked it i would repurchase it i have some pocket bags first up this is in toasted vanilla chai i think this is from last year i believe um this is a nice scent it literally just smells like chai like a slightly spicy vanilla-y type of a scent um yeah I like it I'm pretty sure because there is like a little bit left that I am going to turn it upside down after this video because I want to 100% use it up next pocket back I have this is in all the feels rainbow passion fruit this one is also old um I'm not like that picky with my pocket backs I'll basically use whatever this was like a nice fruity scent um very summery but I don't know I'll I'll, I'll use them whenever last pocket back I use this is the candy corn Boo Raspberry. I think this is the one from last year. A nice fruity scent. Um, packaging's really cute. So yeah, did use that for Halloween. Okay, I also used up, this is the 
Perfect Peony. This is in the little mini, the EDP. Um, this is in my purse. I actually did receive a couple compliments when I wore this. Even though I'm not really a floral person, it's like a fresh floral, a fresh feminine, like dainty kind of a floral. It's not heavy or headache inducing or anything like that. So yeah, I would reconsider repurchasing that. I used up one wallflower. This I've decided I'm only gonna be using up wallflowers in my bathroom now just because honestly, to me, they are too light in my bedroom. I can literally barely ever smell them. So I did use up pumpkin clove in the bathroom. Again, I've said it before, I say it all the time in basically all my videos, I do not really think wallflowers are for me. Sometimes I give in to the sales and I'm tempted and I buy them anyways, but I don't really think that the performance is that good. They seem to dud out about halfway through. So again, right around the halfway mark I couldn't really smell it but up until the halfway mark it did smell amazing and delicious so take with that what you will with that information because I know some people are like ride or die wallflower fans and then some people just don't think they work at all anyways um okay for body care I also was able to get through this is the dark kiss full-size body spray I know that this was in my project use it up so I am quite happy that I was able to get through it and along with that I also did get to use up the matching lotion always very very exciting when I can go through full-size body care because that's you know a struggle area of mine so yes I really enjoy dark kiss it's like a very um perfumey like a musky slightly sweet like a very like a sexy a date night type of a scent i do enjoy it i definitely want to take like a break from it but super happy i was able to finish that and then also i was able to use up another um set well i'm not completely done i am going to be filming my project um project pan after this so you guys will see what i mean but i was able to finish up my strawberry pound cake shower gel completely so that's very exciting i really enjoyed the shower gel i also think the packaging is super cute sometimes in the shower i'll get bored at like the halfway mark and i'm just like over the scent um and then i have to like push through but this i actually didn't really get bored of it was like every shower i was like excited like to use this so that was nice and then I also was able to get through the body spray and for this I'm like super super proud because I actually got through the spray pretty quickly considering um the spray I definitely did get like sick of much sooner than the shower gel and I didn't really think it was that long lasting so I would definitely repurchase the shower gel not too sure about the spray though then the very last thing I use this is not um Bath and Body Works but I just thought I would plop it in this is from Lush it is a rub 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 shower scrub a sample and honestly I am now 100% hooked on Lush's sh scrubs. They're different than Bath and Body Works, and I love Bath and Body Works, but I don't know. They're just different, and honestly, I kind of prefer the scrub formula better. So, yeah, I'll probably go back to the store, repurchase this. In case you guys are wondering, it's a very fresh, clean, oceanic scent. Um, really, like, gender neutral. So, that is everything I have finished for my Bath and Body Works empties for the month of October. Stay tuned because I will be doing my project use it up soon and I also did place an online order. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye!